Pozdrav svima ljudi, nalazimo se nedaleko od Meride, napustili smo Cancun i došli smo ovdje iz razloga zato što je u Meridi moj prijatelj Nathan, kod kojeg sam kao surfao prije jedno osam godina kad sam putovao u Americi, živio je u Oklahoma Cityu i tada sam mu poslao poruku na Couchsurfing i pitao ga da li možemo ostati kod njega dvije noći, on nas je rado ugostio i nakon toga Nathan je došao u Hrvatsku, spavao je kod mene nakon toga smo Andreja i ja bili u Tajlandu, sreli smo ga tamo pa smo malo putovali Tajlandom i sada naš susret je ovdje u Meridi gdje živi već 14 mjeseci i malo će nas sprovesti kroz Meridu, sprovest će nas kroz neke senote, sad smo upravo došli u jedan senotes koji je njemu omiljen, tako da ćemo ga ići vidjeti. Situacija ovdje nije kao u Cancunu, u Cancunu se nitko ne drži socijalne distance, većinom ljudi nose maske tu i tamo, ali to je to ovdje, na ovim drugim mjestima malo više paze. Nathan, so, introduce yourself to the Croatian people. Hola, my name is Nathan from Foodie Flashbacker. <laughs> and that's it. Chris Yem was my couch surfer how many years ago? Oh, it was like eight years ago. Eight or in, ten years uh, ago in Oklahoma City. I'm Oklahoma from the United City, States, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, what we gonna do here? Today we're gonna see three cenotes on horseback. We're gonna go on these uh, little four-strong carts down this old, you can see it's an old train track. And we're gonna check out three different cenotes. They should be three different types of cenotes. So it's your favorite cenote here? These are some of my favorite <laughs> some cenotes. Of the, yeah. <laughs> the best cenotes in all of Mexico. <laughs> this area has more than 4,000 cenotes in this part of, in the Yucatan region Yucatan. of Mexico. Yeah. Oh they, they think they're still finding more cenotes every day. Why do we need to go on this horse carriage? Because we're going probably five or six kilometers back. Six kilometers five or on, six kilometers. on this horse carriage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, and here is Tim. Tim. Tim from Universal Traveler, yes. Universal Traveler. Yes, from Germany. Where do you live in Germany, Tim? Well, I left Germany 11 years ago, <laughs> just traveling around. <laughs> so you live everywhere? Yeah, just stayed a year in Spain and came spontaneously to Mexico. So you travel throughout the world? Around yeah, the world, yeah, lots of Asia, Central America. I mean, oh. there are so many nice places to go, right? So yeah, of course. It's difficult to choose one place to stay at. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. You see, Nathan is here for almost 14 months. Yeah, 14 yeah. months now. 14 months. In Mexico. And did you learn any language? But you're half Mexican. I'm half Mexican, yeah. You, <laughs> you have Mexican passport. You're a poquito espanol, see? Perfect, amazing. No mucho, poquito espanol. Nathan je znači polu Meksikanac, ima Meksičku putovnicu, nema blage veze pričat Meksički, znači zna samo ona ke tal, takos, por favor. Cerveza, nachos, nachos, yeah, tacos quesadillas, tacos de pastor. Da. You need to learn the language. That's enough, that's all you have to know. You need to learn the language. You can even have a Mexican passport and not speak Spanish, man. Seiscientos. Yeah. Todo, todo. 120 per person. Is it the normal price? Or? 120 pesos per person. Yeah. So it's like uh, 10 dollars. euros. No, six dollars. Oh, so six euros. Like five euros. Yeah, euro. five euro. yeah. No, it's six euros. Is it? No, no. it's five euros. <laughs> <laughs> Zaboravio sam predstaviti ovog momka. Ovo je George from Life of George. Hola. George is from Oxford. And yeah, he, from England originally. England originally, yeah, but he lived in and still, yeah. Still moving around. <laughs> I've been traveling for the last six years too. I was living over in Asia for a while and now here in Mexico. Yeah, uživa već uh, dva mjesta u Meksiku. Inače, George ima 200.000 subscribera na YouTube-u i snima cool videe, pa čekirajte obavezno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos, tío. Súbase, súbase. Súbase, dejad. Vámonos. Vámonos. Vámonos, mi amigo.
Izgleda da smo stigli. A ki? E, si, si. Ok, izgleda da smo stigli. Ja se još nisam presvukao u kupači. Mislim, nije nitko. Gdje je ulaz? Let's. Idemo vidjeti. Evo izgleda da je ovdje. Sad ćemo vidjeti. Evo ga, senote je tu ljudi moji. Pogledajte ljudi moji ovo. Tek kad se spustite, vidite kako izgleda. Brutalno je. Koliko je čisto. Najs, najs. Stvarno najs. No. 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 I'm gonna stay with Tundra. You going down? Yeah, I'm oh, gonna go down. Go check it out. You're Back going foot. now or you wanna wait? You gonna no. jump? No, no. <laughs> I think it's impossible to jump. I was down there. Oh, you just went down? Yeah, and it's a platform. There is no no space for jumping. Challenge accepted. Yeah, yeah right? No, no. Well, Challenge accepted? <laughs> okay, I will give you 100 bucks if, if you jump from, from the top of the... 100 pesos. 100 okay, you got it. Deal. <laughs> 100 pesos, Nathan. That's the money of my life. So first question, how did you like Croatia? Oh, Croatia is amazing. It's gorgeous. I like the ocean and the food and the really good wine. You guys have such good wine there. Uh, yeah, you're a wine lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have really amazing white wines. How was your stay in Zagreb? Where did you stay? Your house, man. Yeah, <laughs> your house. Yeah, so I had a good time. So you were keeping me out very late. We were coming home at nine in the morning and clubbing Party. all night. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Sleeping until three, four. <laughs> life. Yeah, fiesta. the life. Yeah, fiesta. 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 Fiesta de Zagreb. Yeah. You need to come again. I hope You're to, yeah, always yeah. welcome in Zagreb. Yeah, I hope to come when, and when, in Croatia, when, the, of course. when the borders reopen. Oh, you can come to Croatia. <laughs> it's the Mexico of Europe. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> it's not, but you need PCR test. That's it? Yeah, the PCR test and that's it, yeah. All right, not bad. Yeah, that's okay. So, what do you think about life here in Mexico? Do you like it? I love it, yeah. I've been here now 14 months and I'm very happy to be, we say like, I got stuck here, I'm happy to be stuck here. It's good weather, good food, nice people, um, good cost of living, you can have a very nice uh, life for not a lot of money. How much, do you, how much do you pay your apartment? Uh, I have a, ha a two bedroom, two bath house with a swimming pool, all bills included, electricity, water, everything uh wi-fi i pay about 500 american dollars per month 500 dollars yeah, yeah. everything included everything included i don't pay anything separate except my housekeeper oh my god 500 yeah. bucks and housekeeping here i pay for a half day i pay my housekeeper 12 american dollars 10 euros oh my god it's really so affordable two bedroom here. two bath two bath and a swimming pool and a swimming pool all, and bills, all utilities all utilities 500 american dollars that's nothing that's really really cheap it yeah. is good it's nice it's nice here right that's now. why you're living here yeah it's, <laughs> it's a good it's a good life right now during coronavirus i lost a lot of my blogging income i lost a lot of money during covid and i still my life has not changed my life is safe the same. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's your future plans future plans i like to spend every summer in europe i unfortunately couldn't go last year because of coronavirus so hoping this year i'm able to get into europe probably may june and spend this summer in europe oh, again nice. yeah Maybe in Croatia. If you come to Europe, then you just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. To Croatia. Okay. And for today? Today? Yeah, the plan? what's the plan? Uh, cenotes, lunch, and then we're going to visit the yellow city of Izamal for sunset. It's really beautiful at sunset. The entire uh, Centro Historico, the middle of the town, is painted the same shade of yellow. So really dramatic photos. Gorgeous. Okay, let's go. Yeah, like Are you ready, George? Listo. Team? Vamos, tío. <laughs> Everybody's so pumped up. <laughs> they just had the cold. Andrea, water. and you? It, it wasn't that cold. I'm no, already. Yeah, so. <laughs> Como se llama? Yo? Si. Sí. 
Luis. Luis. Sí. Luis. Yo me llamo Cristian. Cristian. ¿Cómo se llama? Luis. Luis. Hola, Luis. ¿Cómo está, Luis? Bien. ¿Tú eres jefe? No. 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 Jefe. No. Tú eres jefe. No. Sí, grande jefe. ¿Es tu papá? Sí. Papá. Jefe. Jefe aquí. Sí, sí. Yo soy, yo soy guía. ¿Tú soy? Yo soy su guía de ustedes. Ah, yo su guía. Ah, su guía. Ah, hoy en casa de un nuestro dich. Nisos, preamos se idemos na senote broj dva a pogreška. A kada sam prvi puta govorio, nema tri senote, a ovdje već četiri. Tako da ići ćemo vidjeti sva četiri, jedan smo vidjeli i još su tri preostalo. Vamos, Luis. A sigurno se note. A sigurno? Sigurno. Komo se jama? San Felipe. San Felipe? Este bueno, se note? Este je istorijno. Ok, let's go. Let's go. Hey amiga. Hey amigo. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Uzi malo en todo. No, 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 trebaš, no, 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 Pogledajte ga, samo 9 godina ima. I najmlađi je vodič kojeg sam ikada imao. Kine 15 metra od profunida. 15 metra? Od profunida. Ok. E nome je San Felipe? Si. Ok. Ok, let's go down. Ne, 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 Vrijeme je za senote broj 3. Andreja, zašto si odiš iza? Zato ste me potjerali. Tko te potjerao? Sini. Nismo te potjerali. Nije se. Nismo, nismo. Andreja se da ti stalker sa činu tu drive behind. That's not true. She volunteered. She volunteered, yeah. That's not true. I was back there last time. Yeah, but not anymore! Oh, of course. That would have been on video too, it would have been good. Yeah, you heard it, Andrea. Nathan will not be able to support you. I don't know what you're doing. Let's try to get some drift. Sinotre. Sinotre. Here we go, Sinotre, number 3. And here we go, Sinotre, number 4. Znači, to je to cenote na ovom području. Cenote broj 3. This is how they're sitting in Thailand and things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You're not going down? I'll go take a photo. Yeah. Andrea, you? I will take a photo too. Wow, you're going to take a photo? Yeah, when everyone disappears. <laughs> Dok su oni ušli u treći se notes, mene Luis fura u četvrti. Mi Gia, Luis. Pato, Donald. Se jama Patito. Luis, Luis. Se jama Luis. Si. Una mejor Gia i Mexico. Una mejor Gia i Mexico. Hvala. 
Aký? Ty. Sú bueno? Ty. Takže Luis, daj dobar ovdje, znači taj četvrti senotes. Neću se spušat skroz dolje jer dolje ima ljudi. Ako bi se spustio, onda bi morao praktički ući i u vodu, jer ovo tu je već ulazak u vodu. Ispali smo iz tračica, nažalost. Ja. A ne, dolazi ovoga. S druge strane, promet. Zato. Mislio sam da smo ispali iz tračica, ali promet dolazi s druge strane, pa smo se morali pomagati. Ola, komo je sta? Još. Ok. Cuidado, cuidado. Ok, vrijeme je za povrednog na tračnice. Kako Luis pomaže sve. And you are just looking. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The okay, toy to. Back on tracks, let's go. I put the big suitcase on the backpack. He's like, what kind of bag? Nathan, yeah, one, more, one more time explanation. Why is this city called Yellow City? There's two different reasons people say. The number one is the Pope came here and this the yellow was his favorite color. They say they painted the entire town yellow to please the Pope during his visit. Or other people say the Mayans were worshiping a sun god, so it's the color of the sun. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go eat something. Let's go eat. This is the most iconic restaurant. The Umiramo od gladi, ljudi moji, umiramo od gladi. Danas je baš bio dobar dan. Posjetili smo četiri se note, a vozili smo se s onom malom kočijom. Imali smo vodiča Luisa, koji nas je fura okolo, naokolo. Ja se, nažalost, nisam okupao, jer mi se trenutno ne kupao, odnosno prehladno je bilo, pa nisam htio ulaziti u vodu. Andreja, ženski problemi. Motor prošao. Andreja imala ženske probleme, tako da se nije ni ona okupala. Nate nije također, a Jordi i Tim su se bacili. Okupili smo se onom prošlom se na otelom. Sad idemo klopat nešto, ulazimo, kaže Nate, most iconic restaurant here in Yellow City. So let's see. I'm really, really hungry. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Cuentas en alguna reservación? No, reservación. Me hace correr para cuatro personas. Tengo tiempo de espera entre media hora. Media hora? Okay. Half hour wait. Kasni se Andrea. A ti ja nikad ne kasnim za hranu. U restoranju je krca pogledaj ovo. Mislim da je ovdje hrana sada še. George, what do you think about food here? I am starving. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if it tastes good or no. Anything will be good. <laughs> Same with me. But she is a problem. She, she likes when food is good. And uh, when the food is not good, she is killing everybody around herself. <laughs> well, to be fair, with Nathan, you'll be safe. Yeah. We've got a food blogger. Yeah. Kako pivo, ljudi moji. Znači ovo je vrhunsko pivo, pogotovo po ovoj vrućini danas smo cijeli dan jahali gore, dolje, gore, dolje. Nema ništa bolje nego hladno meksičko pivo. 
I like it. Another. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, it's so good. It's so good, guys. I always like remember that scene in Thor, like yeah, the original Thor. You ever watch it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like he takes the first cup, and throws it on the floor. Another. Saber. Nathan. Yes. What are we eating? Oh well. You need to try very traditional things, so I can recommend the panuchos, the salbutes. These are both very traditional. If you want something different that's traditional, uh, they have roasted deer meat that's cooked underground, shredded, topped with orange. Uh, I have an idea. Let's order many things and share it all together. What we do you do, think? Like, do this, yeah, yeah. yeah, you order like 10, 10 things and we share it and split the bill and that's it. Okay, okay. Sure. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Like Andrea, are you okay with that? Yeah. yeah, as long as I have my own dish. <laughs> 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 uh, and then sit your back, por favor. Uh huh. Un orden de filete la yucateca. Si. Un cochinita por bill. Un pollo por bill. I un vinado amandrado. Ako čovjek nije naručio sve sa menija, onda stvarno nije ništa naručio. Vidjet ćete kad bude došla hrana, znači cijeli stol će biti pun hrane, sigurno, obećavam. What is this, Nathan? These are panuchos, so it's corn tortillas filled with uh, black beans, deep fried, and then topped with cochinita pabil. And you yeah, need some salsa. <laughs> panuchos de cochinita pabil. <laughs> panuchos it is good. the base, yeah, and then what you put on top of it is, that's the cochinita pabil. But this is like uh, pork meat and yes. onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pork cooked in, um, seasoned with the sour orange. Coconut. <laughs> oh. Sausages. Longanisa. So Nathan, what do we have? This is deer meat? Yeah, this is deer meat in an almond sauce. This is cochinita pabil. It's one of the most iconic Mayan dishes. It's um, pork? pork meat buried uh, underground, wrapped in banana leaves, with se um, seasoned with the sour orange. And this is pollo pabil. It's also cooked in a banana leaf and buried underground. So everything is like cooked underground? Yeah, okay. yeah, all of these things. All of these dishes so far are cooked underground. Not the panuchos, not the first thing you had. But these three underground? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stop talking. Nice. <laughs> Start eating. Stop talking, let's eat.